Dear Israel, my name is John Isaacs. Johnson. I don't know if you remember me, but I hope you don't. I'm one of the guys that bullied you relentlessly in school. I have a list of excuses, but they don't matter. I was an asshole and a piece of garbage to you, and they want you to have my deepest, most sincere apology. I can't count the numbers of times I've wished I could take it all back. It's weighed on my conscience all my adult life, and I finally decided to see if I could find you on the internet. So here I am. I'm not asking for forgiveness, I'm not entitled to anything from you. I only wanted you to know how regretful I am. What I did was wrong, and I am sorry. Would you forgive this man? I would not. This email is fictional, but it's the best I can come up with to appeal to my forgiveness. No sob story, no excuses, just straight up empathy and repentance. And still I would not forgive. In fact, if I could press a button to have my three school bullies drop dead, I wouldn't just press it, I'd ask if I could pay money to watch it happen. I think that says an awful lot about me and it's not good. But it's the truth. I wasn't even bullied that hard. Just teased and disrespected a lot about being fat and ugly. It hardly ever got physical because I was a big kid and the few times it did it was done indirectly. Spit on my back, teasing pokes to the belly, messing with my stuff and defacing it and you know that kind of thing. I hardly ever think about it these days. I wouldn't say it has affected my adult life in any significant capacity, although the way one of them would push me into the urinal when I was trying to piss is the reason I go into the stalls to this day. Just cruel kids being cruel. It's the nature of youth. I've changed so much since then, it's easy to think of it as something that happened to someone else like a larval state from which I transitioned into adulthood. So why would they be different? They also were kids that were doing stuff that they would never dream of doing as adults. They're probably completely different people. From a purely rational perspective, none of it should be deemed unforgivable, especially if they were to express their regret. And still, I will never forget it and I will never forgive it. In my gut, deep inside, those people will always be trash, and they deserve to be punished for what they did. If you got bullied growing up, I'm genuinely curious to know if you feel the same way. I asked my wife this question, and it only took her a few seconds of consideration to say yeah, she would forgive if they were sincere in their apology. And bear in mind, she was bullied by teenage girls, otherwise known the world over as the spawns of Satan. She's a kinder person than I. For me though, there is a plot twist. I was in the middle of the pecking order. I got bullied, but throughout the years I had my own victims. One kid in particular. And I was cruel. Verbally, I didn't hold back. I hated this guy for reasons I can't rationally explain. His words were lame, his face was stupid, and I couldn't stand him. I'd take every chance I got to humiliate him, and the fact that he was a weak kid that couldn't fight back with insults and banter of his own only made me dislike him more. I never wanted to cross into physical abuse that much made me feel bad even then, because I would witness a different bully spit straight into his hair, and I, and I would be like, oh, uh, I guess I'm not that bad. And still I did get physical twice, once to kick his backpack to tatters and one other time to throw him on the ground because he got in his head that he could talk back to me and I couldn't allow that. I realized the contradiction with what I said barely a sentence ago. I do cringe catastrophically just thinking about all this for the record. The time came when the teachers caught wind of this and their solution was to sit us next to each other thinking we'd mellow out with familiarity. We did, but not in the way they expected. This period must have been so damn confusing for this guy, because at times I'd behave as his friend, only to turn around and treat him like a piece of garbage the next day. 
and not just that, and actively lobby for others to bully him too. Quite effectively, I might add. So this kid didn't even know the extent to which I wrecked his school-going experience. I mentioned excuses earlier, and I don't even have them. I grew up in a happy household. I barely had any problems to speak of growing up. I was just a teenage asshole. It doesn't take a psychology degree to understand at least some of my refusal to forgive my bullies stems from the fact that I will never forgive my own actions. My own actions. I think about receiving think that, about fictional that fictional email and I get email annoyed. Get Do you think you're doing me a favor? Do you think I wanted well, I think to be confronted by a decades-old decades apology, old apology and now I have to do all this emotional this labor to make you feel better? Make me feel I don't better. care that you're care reformed. That you're not reformed. brave not for brave reaching out and admitting guilt. All you really want is for your conscience to be rid of the burden. You wrecked so much of my childhood and now you want forgiveness? Fuck off. Get fucked. After everything you After everything did, did, you get to carry, that, to shit carry to that shit to the grave. That's the least you can do. Can do. Again, I'm really curious about your answer to this question. I suspect I'm in the resentful minority. Okay, fine, I wouldn't press the button if they were good family men. I don't want to create the weirdest orphan revenge story. But I would press a button to give them a heinous scrotal rash that gets worse every time they scratch it. <laughs>